pouring rain. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit, not too much. So, just sitting here waiting for Gary Lee. I did not do my makeup yet. I was debating, um, I'm on vacation this week from work, so I was debating on whether or not to do a video today. So, we'll see where that goes. Maybe before Gary Lee's got a concert tonight, maybe I can get a video in. We will see where that goes. Um, I got this cute outfit from Maurice's. Um, just a little tank top and like a kimono over top. Super cute. So while I'm sitting here waiting for Gary Lee, um, this is my dog Bandit by the way. He's shaking. He's not cold so don't worry. It's um, not that cold outside. He just gets nervous when he's in the car sometimes. But I got this in my last BoxyCharm box, and it is the Becca Lipstick and Tulip, and I really like it. This That's just the shade that I had gotten in my BoxyCharm box, and it is kind of like a nudie peachy pink. I really like it. If I decide to do like a get ready with me before Gary Lee has his concert tonight, maybe I will put that on. So we will see. Uh, another good product that I like to keep my lips hydrated and moisturized is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. I love this stuff. Um, I did get it in the tin last time, but I didn't like the tin because I felt like I don't like to swirl my finger around in that little tin there. So I went ahead and I picked up that one at Ulta. But those are really, really good. I really like it. My purse is a mess, by the way. All right, well, maybe I will do a little get ready with me here after a bit, so maybe we'll see it. It's raining so much. I do not even wanna go out there because it is a walk, that's for sure, to go get him. Uh, the school doors are over there and you have to walk all the way around all these cars and I'm not looking forward to getting out and getting soaked. I have absolutely no umbrella, so. As you can see, we got Doopy from school. <laughs> He's embarrassed. Yes. They like the bully? That's not nice. That's weird. That's not nice at all. Are you going to tell everybody that you'll see him at the concert? Yeah, I think he will come and he will be. All right, so we'll see you later. Hi everybody, so I'm back. I decided I am going to do a quick get ready with me before we go to Gary's concert today. So we made it through the rain, by the way, at the school. Um, I did anyway. Gary, on the other hand, not so much. He got soaked and wet. And by the way, these flyaways here on my hair, I've got a hack for you. If you want to tame flyaways and you have the them where they're so pesky, um, use a clear mascara. I'm just using the um, CoverGirl Professional Lash, um, just a clear little mascara. And all you have to do is just any of the, I would say, I don't know if the camera's picking up. All you have to do is just brush them down. If the camera starts shaking, don't worry. It's my dog is trying to get on the bed and he is like Godzilla. And he thinks he has to shake the whole house to get on the bed. He is a weenie dog, so in his defense, he does have short legs. So, okay, have the flyaways all tamed. Looking good. Okay, so since this is everyday routine, I'm going to use the same exact foundation and everything that I used in my last video. So I will be using real quick the Pore Defense Primer Serum from Hard Candy. It's only like eight bucks. It's a good steal. And if for some reason you hear Gary Lee in the background, that is because he is downstairs and he is playing Hello Neighbor. So. He always plays video games whenever he gets home from school. So, okay. So primer is going to sink in. And like I said, this is just a little play. So obviously I'm not going to crazy, just going to the school. So it's going to be about the same, 
same exact thing as last time pretty much nothing just every day so I will be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation and I am wearing the shade F2 he's so loud whenever you play games plays the games sometimes it drives me up the wall so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on we're gonna blend that out By the way, as you can see in the background here, I have an addiction to Bath & Body Works. And it's pretty bad. I literally had probably 50 body lotions, 50 mists, body sprays, and I got rid of over half of them. And that's still what I have. And I haven't had the courage to uh, part from them. <laughs> Which I really need to because it's like I get them because I think their scents will be retired. And I'm like, oh no, you know, this, you know, this probably isn't going to be here anymore. And then I never wear them. It's bad. Okay, and then I do have, once again, it's probably not going to pick up on camera, but I do have some, a lot of acne going on here. I don't know if it's because as I'm getting older. Uh, my skin just seems to be getting worse. So I'm going to put a little bit more foundation on that area and I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so I am done with foundation. So then I'm going to, once again, for my everyday look, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm just going to put a tiny bit under there, under my eyes. Once again, I do not use a brush. I do not use a sponge for my under eyes. I just go ahead and use my ring finger to blend that out. I just find that it's easiest. And also I notice as I age, my under eyes are getting drier. Okay, so once I have that all blend out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it. And I think I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to use the um, Pretty Vulgar um, powder and we also got this in a boxy charm. I think February is boxy charm. We got this February or March. I think February. Um, and it's the powder room and it's matte about it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Okay, maybe not because, well, you know what? I'll just open it. I say I have one and I don't know where it is. I haven't opened one, I should say. And I don't want to have to open this one. So, scratch that idea. I'm just going to use the Original Formula Airspun uh, Loose Face Powder. And this is the Translucent Extra Coverage. So, I will just use that, I guess. Sorry about that. I guess I'll just have to use that in another video. So yeah, so as far as today, I didn't do too much. Um, I'm working on getting spring cleaning done since I am on my vacation from work. So my plan is to get as much accomplished as I can. So today was just kind of a simple day. I just hung out at home and was cleaning and just trying to get some of that kind of stuff done. And we did end up getting married Saturday, me and my fiance, Clint. So that was so exciting, so cute. Whenever I get the chance, hopefully uh, I'll be able to post some pictures up, um, even on my Instagram. I'll have to see if I can put the link for my Instagram account in my um, description box. 
so you guys can follow me on Instagram and see all the pictures of me at my wedding. It was just a small little wedding. Um, about 20 people is what we had. Just close family. Just a small little dinner after. Nothing crazy. I just wanted something small just because we've been together for so long that I just wanted something small and simple that was just, just what I wanted. Nothing crazy. So once we get the face all set, trying to speed this up as much as I can. His concert doesn't start until 7, which for me, having a concert at 7 o'clock for first graders is late. I mean, because they're little kids. And that's late for 7 to, I don't know, it said till 4th grade, so what is that? 9-year-olds? 10-year-olds? All right, so once I get my face all set, then I'm going to start to work on my brows. And for my eyebrows, I'm just going to be using, I do use a couple products. I did mention that in my last video. I mentioned, I think I mentioned in my last one. I use about three to four brow products. It seems like a lot, but for me, I don't really, as you can see my eyebrows, I don't really have any towards the ends. They're really sparse from here over. So I have to do a lot to my brows. They need a lot of TLC, that's for sure. So, and if you hear something in the background, it might be my cat, not my dog this time. Okay. So I pretty much just use the brow pencil just to kind of shape them. Alright, and once I have them shaped, I'll go ahead and lightly, um, with my brow pencil, I will lightly fill them in. Okay, so once I have my brows filled in a little bit, what I will do is then I will go in with a powder, which I did not do last time. I think last time I used the Iconic London, what was available in the BoxyCharm, I think is what I used last time. So usually what I will do is I will also use a powder um, back a while ago, I used to just use the eyeshadow, but then I believe it was Kiss ended up coming out with eyebrow powders, which I really like. So yeah, it is bring the salon home and I've had this forever. Um, it's just a, and then don't mind the glittery part and the wax, it's dirty. So I usually just use this lighter shade just because I'm so pale and I don't really, I don't have dark eyebrows. Um, doesn't give a name or anything on it, so. I believe I picked it up at Walmart. So then what I will do with the powder is on a little angled brush, I will just kind of go over where I did with my pencil. I feel like doing this just kind of makes it a little bit more defined. So. Just makes it, I feel like, a little bit more something, something. Just a little something more. And I know it it might look dark. I don't know how it's going to look on here. But once I brush it out, because then I use, like, a pomade, like, um, like a brow gel. And once I put that on, it just kind of blends everything together. So it might look a little crazy now, a little dark. But once I put in that wax... Or gel, it looks so much better. I 
actually need to do my eyebrows because whew, they're getting crazy. So the kids here, um, where Gary goes to school, this will be their, I think, second concert of the year. They had their Christmas concert, and this is like their spring concert. And poor kids, they had so many missed days this year due to the weather because the snow and everything this year was pretty bad. So they have to go to school until June 5th. I believe. So I'm like, sorry, kid. Can't help you there. Just going to have to suck it up, buttercup. All right. So then after I do that, like I said, I will use the brow gel. And this is the brow drama by Maybelline. They had a different one that I used in my last video that I really liked. And I went to pick it up at Rite Aid. And they didn't have it anymore. Kind of looked like a little squid tentacle. But they didn't have it anymore. So I resorted to this one. So yeah, I just kind of brush them out. Just blends it all in. Makes it look somewhat better. A little bit more together. He's starting to jump on the bed again. And this one might look a little bit darker too on camera. I think it's because the lighting in the background. So don't mind that either. Trust me, they are the same. He got up there, by the way. <laughs> Applause to you, sir. Takes forever. All right, so I think... I wasn't going to clean up my brows, but I think I will. I'm only going to the concert, but I'm like... They need done and they are looking nasty. So we'll clean them up here real quick. So then I just put a little bit on there and I'm just cleaning them up. There we go. Now we're getting some sunlight in here. It's dark in my room and I want to move my vanity. I'll have to show you maybe a picture. I'll maybe I'll insert a picture on the video here of my vanity. But our room is so small where we live at our house. So there's not too many places to put it because our bed takes up like half the room. And then back here is just a hope chest and I've just got my Bath and Body Works scents on there a lamp, a candle, and like a little jewelry holder on there. And then our bed is right beside it. So there's not, I want to move my vanity somewhere where there's a little bit more lighting just because it would be so much easier and I would have so much more natural light. So maybe in the future I'll get a ring light or something. So we'll see. And I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on my eyelids because I have very veiny eyelids because my skin is so pale. So I'm just going to blend that out with my ring finger again, just like I did the under eyes. And I think I'm just going to use one color today just because it's so simple. I'm just going to use one eyeshadow and I think I'll use my favorite Urban Decay palette. Which that one was a gift from one of my old bosses. So she got it for me for Christmas. So that was so sweet of her. Because that was, I had never owned. And I even told her, I was like, I've never owned an expensive eyeshadow palette. Because I haven't. I mean, like I said, I'm mainly drugstore girl. Because I feel like most of the stuff is just the same exact thing as a drugstore. So she's so sweet. And I was so excited whenever she got it for me. I was like. My face and Clint's face was just like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I was just excited. 
So, but it's the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I really like this one. So that's the one I'll be using. Before I do that though, I'm going to, he's so loud. I'm going to just run some of that airspun powder on my finger and I'm just going to set it a little bit. I just always like to use the same powder that I use to set my face to set my under or to set my eyelids. I know some people just use, like to use a nude eyeshadow or something a little bit lighter, but I like to use that, so. All right, so then I'm going to just use my eyeshadow brush. So what I'm gonna do next, just so the video is not so long, is I'm just going to throw, I'll probably end up throwing the shade Faith in my crease. Um, usually on every days I just run something in my crease and that's all I do. So I will probably end up just doing that. And then I will follow up some with some mascara and some, a little bit of bronzer and blush to waken up my pale little face. And I will get a picture in there too and I will be back later maybe I'll insert a little video of the after look when I'm all done and then we'll see you later right, guys so this is my vanity so it's really cute and Clint had got it for me for I think Christmas a couple years ago but it's really cute it just needs cleaned off a little bit I got these adorable little lotions. They're supposed to be for soaps for your kitchen from Walmart for Pioneer Woman. Um, but yeah, so this is my little vanity. I just wish I can move it a little bit somewhere where there's some more natural light. But that's what you get. So that's it. All right, that. so I'm all done with my makeup. So I did go ahead and I just put that... Faith eyeshadow from Urban Decay in my crease, and I added a little bit of highlighter. I just went ahead and used this ColourPop eyeshadow. I'm not sure what it's called because it came in like a quad, but I put that as a little highlight there, and I'm just going to not even wear anything on my lips today, and I finished my eyelashes, uh, Better Than Sex Mascara on the top, and then on the bottom, I tried CoverGirl's new Excabitionist. Am I saying that wrong? I don't know, but it's really good and I really like it. It's waterproof, so I like it. So I guess I will see if I can film a little bit at the school. So Clint's on his way home. Um, and I was thinking I'm probably not going to film at this school, unfortunately, because I'm not used to the whole YouTube thing yet. So I figured a lot of their parents probably wouldn't appreciate me posting videos of their children, regardless if it's just a small choir concert. So in respect for them, I won't be filming the concert as much as Gary Lee would like for you all to see him sing with his beautiful voice. I'm going to respect everybody and not share it, but I hope you enjoyed my little vlog for today and hopefully you'll get to see a little bit more of me. All right. Have a good day.